Hello everybody, and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Hearts of Iron 4 Enclave Reborn. Alright, we're gonna be fighting the Vipers soon enough. I'm still stacking up a bit of political power. Um, I suppose, since we're not really spending it on much else, we should be spending the political power trying to upgrade our government a little bit. And there are some really good options, like this division attack plus 15%. So solid. We could reduce our political power gain just to gain some free stability too. We could also improve our power armor a bit more. Or reduce production costs by another 10% so we can field a lot more. I mean, as much as I want the quality, that actually might be the better play. Okay. You guys need to be changed over to our rapid response division. Apparently that would cost more power armor. How? It's already a 10 combat width, isn't it? I thought we were just adding on support companies, but apparently I'm wrong. Hmm. So the NCR is going to kill the Western Brotherhood. That does not necessarily mean that the war is going to be over. They'll be fighting all these guys up here. I'm just waiting on Kaisar. Come on, Kaisar. You need to do something. You need to do the thing. Please. I am a begging. I am of begging you. We actually may need to be doing... Yeah, we should be close air support up here, since this is where actually the combat's going to be taking place. Could also start working on getting a claim on just like anyone else, like you. And I guess I'm okay with also justifying a war goal here. Doesn't mean we have to fight them immediately, but let's go ahead and get that ball a-rolling. We just don't have a lot of time to get our production in line so that we can fight the NCR. The NCR is on to us. I'm going to wait a bit. Mortar is done. Cool. Um, I really wish this stuff was still organized by year. It would make my life a lot easier. Spec Ops, maybe. I mean, Spec Ops leads to... what? Not a lot that I need right now. Yeah. By the way, just notice that these are all, like, power armors that, it, like, it says you can make them, but it lies. You can't. And that's, you can tell from, like, the Brotherhood of Mars, obviously this should be for somebody other than me. All right, and that's, that's just sort of the proof of it. Super Mutant Clubs don't matter. Could go for the extra reinforcement rate. I don't see the point. That's all way too far ahead of time. Could improve, I suppose, our motorized divisions. Could also research things like a radar tower. We're also not too far ahead of time on mini ride, uh, miniature circuitry. I don't feel like radar towers are very useful at the moment. Even though it's ahead of time, I think I'm going to go for this, for the extra maximum factories, efficiency, output, population, recruitment, so on and so forth. That all seems reasonably good. We actually have some free civilian factories, what do you know? So maybe we want more military factories, or maybe we want to be putting down like some anti-air or some infrastructure or something. It's hard to say no to just more military factories. Remind me what outposts do. Inflicts an attack penalty of 15% for each fort level on the attacker in combat. So this is just a fort. So a bunker is twice as effective as an outpost, but it costs four times as much. So, yeah, placing down some outposts in preparation for a fight against the NCR could be a sensible play. They're not very difficult to build, so we can plow through those pretty easily, and a 15% you know, reduction is substantial. By killing the Vipers, we are going to have access to another route of attack with the NCR, which may or may not be an advantage, depending. Because they have a much larger military... Now that I think about it, fighting the Vipers could technically be a bad idea. War supports. 
I'm gonna let the sergeant do his job. A soldier was caught out of uh, uniform. Yeah, I'm okay with losing a little bit of war support. Stability is the one that takes a hit whenever you go to an offensive war, right? Pretty sure that's correct. Okay, a bunch more unassigned divisions. We're getting there. We're starting to produce an army. So we have a bit of time on them. We don't have anywhere near enough production to support uh, fielding any veterans, but we can get some more manpower and possibly field some extra motorized? Sure. We'll do this once more for now. I don't know if that's the right call or not. I do want to get the division attack guy. I mean, we've got some time while we just build up political power. So let's go for another 15% attack. I mean, it's solid. What's not to freaking like? We could also ultimately end up going for the guy who does pair drop attack and defense. I suppose that also could be really good, but... Nah. Nah, 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 nah. We could... We cannot... Do reorganizing the remnants. Have to be at war. Well... It appears that it reduces your non-core manpower, but it does increase your recruitable population. No, it doesn't. No, this is better. Alright, expanded forces. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. You have to fight someone pretty strong to do that. Which I don't anticipate to be an issue here. I don't know, guys. I'm worried about fighting the NCR. I mean, poisoning the bear will help. I've just, I've been, I've been really hoping that Kaisar's Legion is going to get involved. I've been, I'm, that's all I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on Kaisar's Legion so they'll be distracted so I can attack from the north. That's it. But thus far, they just don't seem interested. I guess we can trade with the New California Republic. Does that not alert you to the fact that we're here? So, uh, who can I say is, uh, who can I put on the purchase order? Uh. The not enclave? Hmm, that's suspicious, but okay. I mean, at this point, if they don't know that I'm freaking here, they're just not paying attention. Alright, there's the justification for the war. I think we're just going to go ahead and attack. Uh, although, before I do that, let's pick this guy up. Okay. Declare the war. Go. Launch. And all of you guys push down to the Viper Nest. Get them. Oh, there's actually something over here. Hello. I'm not sure it's going to matter. I think we can get these fine. But let's do the pair drops. Okay, they're landing. Got them. Do we not land here? Got them. Beautifully executed. Well done. I'm proud of every single one of you. Let's move up to the next airbase. Move you guys forward a little bit. We're going to do the exact same thing over here. It'll be done in a while, unfortunately. It's going to take 100 days. 100 days? It only took 80-something last time. Let's go ahead and start justifying more, I guess. All right, take all states. Done. So we have that extra border against the NCR. Risky. More power armor. That's really all that we care about, right? I guess a little bit more robotics. I'm going to start producing some mortars. We actually already have a ton. How's that possible? So you're telling me we can add that to our division templates like now without any problems. Okay, that's cool. Why do we only have five here? Did one of ours die? Wait, did we lose somebody? That doesn't feel right. I think we might have accidentally lost a power armor. How? I thought we was invincible. 
There's Airborne Assault. So that gets me the extra Supply Grace. Now we can work for the Scorched Earth. We're going, we're going full, full out genocidal here. We're, we're, we're not pulling our punches. Okay, you once again have a good number of points that I want to take. But we should be able to make this very fast. And you need an offensive line. You're basically going to do this. Okay. This should be an easy target. It's just going to be a long time before we're ready to kill them. Alright, the NCR is on to us. We have a month left. Radio tech is done. More reinforce rate. Go for more encryption, decryption. Sure. I still believe that the encryption tech should allow us To uh, reduce the cost of the lair of the bear, but... Mm -mm. Salvage fighters. We're ready to upgrade those now. Sweet. Okay. Nuclear salvaged. Nuclear planes? Seems excessive. Go for the decryption tech as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and do for the next 90 days, we are going to um, cease aggressive tactics, which is a lie. We are going to be very aggressive. I just don't think that I need it against these guys, and we have some time. 70 days, so we'll have 20 days of bad attack, and then we could attack them immediately after. I suppose we could just sit back and wait. The important thing is we're holding off the NCR still. Scorpions are attacking somebody. Scorpions bite. Isn't that these guys? Yeah, there's two scorpions. There's scorpions, and then there's scorpions that bite instead of sting. These sting, these bite. That's the main difference. Kaiser's Legion is... pretty scary. NCR is still scarier. Come on, I need you guys to provoke each other. Kill each other. If only there was an option in here somewhere to, like, encourage them to just provoke. Right? Provoke the Kaiser. That's a national focus I could freaking use. Bad weather penalty, close air support, attack, defense, agility. This is useless. I think... Well, hang on. Logistically, we're actually catching up again on power armor. I think we are going to increase the quality of them. Sorrows joins the NCR. The trolls are fighting somebody few different people, actually. Good chance to kill the uh, trolls, too. Mr. Handy. Cool. Medium robots. Probably not going to end up using them. I guess reinforce rate is okay. Um, I really don't know what I want to go for. Not very far ahead of time on this. Could go for another 2%. Could also go for their radar. Construction speed. I think we're going to go ahead and upgrade our motorized with some extra armor value. Just increase their survivability a little bit. Make them more effective. We're going to go for the quality. Reduces my recruitable population, I'm aware. But, better power armor equals happy me. We have air experience. How'd that happen? Didn't mean for it to happen. Okay. More encryption. Let's go for the breakthrough. Whoops, 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 whoops. Breakthrough and max speed on our motorized to make them better. Since we're going to have a fair bit of it, Eight. Eight divisions of this. We might as well make it more effective. How are we doing logistically on those? Plenty. Plenty of motorized. That ain't the issue. We're almost done reinforcing power armor, which means I'm going to be able to start training up some more. Okay, so our units should be in fighting strength at this point. We'll go for another 2%. It's 0.07 ahead of time. That's just not much. Just doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay. More motorized. Add them. 
That's a full 24 division. Wow, what do you know? We finally got that. How are we doing on construction? We're repairing a few things. All right, let's go ahead and start building out some outposts. Just trying to reduce the level of attack against the NCR. The NCR appears to have already built up quite a few uh, of their own outposts against the Viper's border. I guess they were worried about them. Doing this means I'll be able to just park a couple of um, armies. And one of them can push while the other just holds ground. I mean, I'd love to grab, for example, Shady Sands. Though again, he's got all these outposts here for a reason. Two out of six. So a 30% attack reduction going there. Strikes me as a little bit risky. For me. Not for him. Smart for him. No template for the what? The mortars? Greed. Probably can adjust you and toss in the explosive support for even more stuff. Plenty of explosive equipment. That's not an issue. Does reduce my armor a little bit. But again, it makes all these guys more effective. You could really use some stuff. How about a maintenance company? And a recon company. Should be doing okay in terms of logistics now. Yeah, we're reinforcing a few things, but all in all, it's not that bad. Power armor still building up. Guess it's time to start training more. Gonna need more of that manpower, though. Still. Does help. How long until I can kill you, dang it? Five more days. And then we gotta decide if we want to wait until the ceasing aggressive tactics is done. I suppose we probably should. Why take... Why be 50% less effective and then lose more equipment? It's like, the faster you win these wars, the less attrition you have to worry about, right? New Canaan declared a war. Cool. Let's go ahead and get some extra experience. Pharaohs took some states. They ate the Shoshone. Really? Oh. You're not that strong, though. We could kill you. Hmm. Let's start the justification of a war goal against these guys. It's going to be a while. But I think we may have time. Possibly. We'll be able to eat this entire area, and then we have to fight the NCR. Did you pull a lot of your military units off of the main base? What happened to you? I don't know. Three, two, one. Iris joins the NCR. Wait, didn't somebody attack Iris? This guy's right here. Yeah. Okay, you joined the NCR. For some reason, I thought the Pharaohs attacked you, but I guess not. No, New Canaan did. So, does this mean that the NCR is technically going to be at war with New Canaan? I guess. It's not like that really matters, but still. Okay. Um, construction speed is not the most important thing to me right now. But it is okay. That's all still a year ahead of time. More reinforce rate is the best I can hope for there. Alright, we're going to go for the uh, construction speed. And we're going to go ahead and declare our war. And I'm going to tell all you guys to basically just charge blindly into the Crescent Valley. You guys go to the ridge. You guys go to Rachel. Oh, Rachel! Sorry. Batman begins. His voice was silly. Alright, para dropping, para dropping, para dropping. Ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. No one got assigned here. How? Drop him. Thank you. Go to Jigs. And he's dead. See? That's how you do it. I think the next one for us to kill was going to be East Ports. That is going to be done in a bit. You've got a long ways to go. Still, <sighs> that was super duper easy. You need my peace deal? Thank you. Take all states. Done. 
Four factories. Definitely should be getting a lot more Tesla energy weapons if we can. Just because it will make my life easier. Modify the government. Let's reduce attrition. Okay. We have 50 days and a thousand political power. Oy. We really need to be calling more remnants and getting more manpower. If at all possible. Come on, Kaisar. You want to get to the Western Brotherhood and kill them, right? I know you do. By the way, why are these guys still alive? NCR, what are you doing? I don't even know how the Mojave chapter is delivering anything to me. Kaisar should not be able to get to them. Still building out as many of these outposts as we can. We've got a few going on. Sky Reavers. You've got a shocking number of troops. Sad that there weren't any rangers. The vipers did kill them. And that means that we're not going to be able to have any fun with them. I'm pretty sure that we're going to be able to do just a quick little pair drop right here on Mountain City and like instantly kill you. But we'll also drop a few here. You need an offensive line basically just to go along here. Oh, you don't feel very confident. Freaking heck. Dude, you got... Look at all the power armor. Look at all these suits. Look at all the Iron Men. You tell me you don't have confidence that you can make this work. What does it take to be building, like, more of these Mr. Handy divisions, by the way? They only have eight combat width. We could upgrade these. I don't have a lot of extra robotics. Like, if I did this with light robots, that would take another hundred. We don't have very many in storage, but we could do this. And then maybe toss in a maintenance company? Sure, let's make the robots actually better. Slight deficit, but not that bad. Okay, can't hide any activities. Sorry, we're just, we're too big to hide. Can't be done. I've gotten big and swollen chunky. Can't stop it. Don't need either of these. Material designer for maybe slightly cheaper infantry equipment, I guess, is okay. I think we're honestly just going to be using our uh, political power to try and get some more remnants. Though this is becoming increasingly less and less effective, so it turns out... I was feeling very confident earlier about our ability to just get more and more manpower. But it turns out, because it is reducing it so much... Like, yeah, going for the uh, power armor and um, just protecting our manpower as much as possible was the right call. I'm glad I listened to you guys about that. Because Lord knows we need more. And I can always train up the veterans. If we have some extra manpower sitting around, we can train up some more veterans. That's fine. I am looking forward to poisoning the bear. And when we do show, so we should have our armies in position for a sneak attack. Right? Because he doesn't have any troops against my border currently. We'll immediately declare war, no justification required, which means run, run, grab everything. That's what we should do. If and we are smart. I can justify fielding a few veterans, barely. We're going to have to equip them, but we do have the equipment to spare at the moment. I'm just going to stockpile otherwise, though. Okay, the justification is done. Plating add-on is done. More piercing value. Defense value. Reinforce, reinforce. We can research this. Let's increase our power armor reliability. I don't know if these count as basic power armor. Like, I wish there was something here that said this counts as basic power armor, but the reliability plus 10% is awesome. Okay, so there's another veteran. And he's definitely a veteran. 75% modifier in combat. Dang, dude. You awesome. I like what I'm seeing from you. Alright, the NCR is on to us. Oh, no! We can reduce our construction speed, but I'm not done building all the outposts. 
I guess we'll just hold off for a little bit. You have a shocking number of troops. I'm really just surprised at how well you're going to hold together here. No divisions are assigned here. Hang on. One, two, three. To dupe. You can't have this many divisions, you say. Mm, I don't know about that. Impact bumpers. All right. Let's go for more encryption and decryption tech, because I don't think we're ahead of time on any of that right now. We ready to just go ahead and declare the war? I think so. Okay, so the biggest thing now is go for all of these war goals here. And we'll pair drop the rest. East Ports joins the NCR. Mm -hmm. Can you please, like, pair drop? I did tell you to do that. Okay, so the defending Mountain City, but I think we're going to be fine. We did land here. And they're dead. Man, I love this. Okay. Um, get down here. So this one's going to be a little bit trickier in a sense. But I need to split the forces. But we should be able to pair drop on Ruby Valley and grab this, and then he'll instantly die. Okay, our name's looking pretty good, though. That feels nice. How are we doing in terms of logistics? Uh, apparently, I could use a few more robots, so we'll do some of that. And honestly, I think that's all we can afford at the moment. Uh, we do need to trade for more goods. What's this? Ask for military access. Okay, I guess. Sure. Get some more resources. I do not want to be slowing down my production here at all. Scorched Earth tech is done. Beautiful. So now we can work towards shock and awe. Which is going to greatly improve my soft attack, hard attack, and apparently... Does it improve my supply usage or increase how many supplies I need? It's one of the imaginally obvious in the description is there. Okay, nothing I can do over here. We could get more resource efficiency, and that's not a bad idea in a sense. That's ahead of time. Not going for the medium robots yet. Could go for upgrades of that. We're gonna go for the wax speed. Blah blah blah. Uh, na, 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 na. Can I research both? I think I totally can. Let's just make our basic power armor outrageously strong. I hope that I'm right about this and I'm not just wasting my time. Okay, we have a little bit of time left on the NCR. We can field a few more veterans, but we're kind of out of manpower at the moment. We have about 80 days or so to go on these guys. We should actually create another front line here. Split off a good number of you. Like so. Since this is where he's currently defending. And then, let's see. Two of you para drop from here. Whoop. Move the planes. Thank you. Need two of you to para drop from here to Ruby Valley. Two of you to pair drop from here to there. Two of you to pair drop over here. Why are you taking attrition? Do we actually not have enough supplies over there? Okay, the Mojave chapter is not delivering as well as they were supposed to. Start trading with the Western Brotherhood, I guess. Tar walkers? Sure. Now we can go for a lot more population... And it's not the worst idea I've ever had. Artillery attack? I guess we are using mortars now. This does technically help. Not by a lot, though. Why my base stability go down so much? We're not at war.
I'm sorry, what? Hold that thought. Okay, yeah, we're fighting New Victoria. We are not fighting the New California Republic. So that's the problem with my stability. We're fighting a war right now, and getting to these guys is a pain. So technically, you're telling me that the NCR could join the war anytime they want? Well, that's scary. Okay, yeah, that's great. Alright, well, uh, we're going to go ahead and end this video here. I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to conquer before we have to go and fight the NCR. Who is still busy with a lot of stuff. Frickin' NCR... Frickin' Kaiser, just get him! They're struggling so much. I don't know what I need to do to help you here. But you're really disappointing to me. I played way more aggressively than you have. Anyway, alright, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.